like to turn it over to Don Milan from P PLN. And I'd love for you to tell us a bit about your decarbonization ambitions and plans to achieve them. And then also if you could touch on PLN's interest in transition credits and how all of that comes together. Yes, uh, today the emission in the electricity sector in Indonesia is roughly 260 million metric tons. If we leave it alone, business as usual, it's going to increase to 1 billion metric tons by 2060, but we're not going to let this happen. So uh, three years ago, uh, uh, as a uh, board of directors of PLN, uh, we redesigned our national electricity planning. At that time, we removed 13 gigawatt of coal in the planning phase. That's avoiding roughly one gigawatt is 6 million metric tons multiplied by 25 years. Uh, multiplied by 13 gigawatt is roughly 1.8 billion metric tons of CO2 avoidance. And then also uh, I myself cancel one coal fire power plants PPA. 1.3 gigawatt contract is 25 years is roughly 220 million metric tons of CO2 uh, being avoided. So to begin with we understand where we need to create more rooms for renewable energy development. And at that time we also launched the net zero emission by 2060. And uh, here, the biggest challenge here is not the renewable energy development. As I auction the renewable, ener renewable energy projects, the competition is very, very healthy. And the price of renewable energy is uh, diminishing. Uh, the reduction of renewable energy price cost is roughly 53% in the last three years. So that means the humankind innovates and the price of re renewable energy is going down. Before, when we're talking about cheap energy, it's dirty now. When we're talking about cheap energy, it's clean. How about the coal? Uh, that is another challenge. And uh, so we team up with the Asian Development Bank and come up uh, with what we call the energy transition mechanisms. So only two days ago, we signed the framework agreement of early retirement of Chirapon power. And this is the mechanism, it's very simple. Uh, with the blended green finance, we are able to acquire low cost of fund. And this new business entity acquiring the old project developer in which, because it's a lower cost, then we are able to expedite the payback previously 2042 to become 2035. That's what we call the early retirement of the coal fire power plants using the energy transition mechanisms and also market-based you know, financing. That's avoiding roughly 25 million metric tons in the span of seven years. So, of course, this is only a pilot project. We learn so much, so many challenges, also so many opportunities. And uh, with this kind of first project, we are going to be plan to able to scale things up. Because where do we go from here? Of course, you know, we're not going to be able to replace coal with another coal. We need to come up with what we call the accelerated renewable energy development. So the 75% of the additional generation capacity in Indonesia from today until 2040 is coming from renewable energy. A lot of challenges mismatch between the location of large-scale renewable energy with the demand. We need to build the green enabling transmission line, no transition with, without transmissions. Of course, the intermittency of the variable renewable energy, solar and wind, we need to build the smart grid, flexible generations, smart meter, etc., etc. And then we eliminate even in the vicinity of designing the new coal fire power plants. There's no more coal in the pipeline of uh, the planning phase. So in that regard, we did also the self-imposed carbon rating on only uh, last September, the Indonesian Carbon Exchange, and we listed the greater, the big uh, carbon rating. We also work uh, with the transition uh, credit methodology with CF. Of course, with the transition credit, you know, where it's going to be available, it's going to improve the commercial viability of the early coal uh, retirement. Uh, and with this kind of event, the COP28 is giving us a sense of a pr a pride, uh, some kind of conviction that previously fragmented global communities to become unified. So we have a strong conviction that we're going to be able to keep moving forward, 
regardless the challenge ahead and to get the mission accomplished. Of course, this is also giving us a sense of humility. This is a long, complex, fierce battle to combat climate change, and the long battle has just begun. Thank you. The ambition is incredible. Thank you so much.